Robbo, a third straight draw on the spin, but was that deserved today to be doing enough to win it? Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, it's difficult to say. We've, we've had a couple of chances, but I feel like we've limited them to very, very few chances. So I think we probably did enough to maybe snatch it, but it is what it is. It's a draw. It's, a, it's not a bad draw against them. They're a, they're, a, they're a tough side to play against, a good good championship side, well-organised side, and we knew that. We knew we were going to have to be on top of our game. And It is unfortunate we've not been able to snatch it. We've had a couple of little chances late on, but you know it, it's not a bad draw in the end. Is it exactly what you expected from Millwall? You know what you're going to get when you place, uh, place a, a Gary Rowett side, and it, it seemed like that out on the pitch. Very few clear-cut chances, but lots of endeavour. Yeah, 100%. Uh, when, when I think like you just touched on it. I think everybody knows what you're going to get from a Gary Rowett side and a Millwall side. It's, it's difficult to play against, but we knew that, and coming off the back of a under-par performance ourselves against Luton, uh, we knew we had to kick ourselves up the arse, so to speak, and you know, put a performance out there, whether what that ever be, what the result had come out, whatever. Um, it's good to get a clean sheet, um, limit them to very few opportunities and just be a, overall solid as a team and, and we knew obviously with the quality we've got going forward we would maybe sneak a couple of chances in the game um, but you know like I say it's a good it's not a bad point in the end. Is that what it's about at the moment at this point at this stage in this team's development it's not going to be free-flowing attack-minded football just yet you have to put pla a platform in place? I think at the minute it's about you know, shoring us up and I think we've done that superbly barring the odd, odd couple of games but even them games where we've not played very well we've still had chances and I think that's what the gaffers brought uh, there's a bit of a belief in the team whereas like I said I touched on the Luton game again like we, we weren't good in that game but we still should have probably won in the end um, if he even puts his chance away um, but I feel like that's the way you know we, we're starting with a solid base and you look I uh, I don't really like looking in the past, but that's obviously a starting point from us. Uh, obviously, poor last towards the end of last season, and we have showed it up a lot. And you can only use that as a base to go forward to then start pushing on with the attacking players and the players we've brought in. <clears throat> I think you can see the quality they've got and the, the flashes of brilliance that we have in the team. And that's only going to get better going forward. I feel like it's just a bit of patience, and you know, the, the longer we stay in games and, and work on that, it's only going to get better. The gaffer was speaking just moments ago and said the longer that this team plays together, the more championship experience for the new players coming in, the better they're going to get. And it seems, talking to both the manager and players, everyone's on the same page at the moment. That's the biggest thing. Uh, I feel like even the players that aren't playing or aren't involved, they want to be involved. Everyone's working on the same things. Everyone's pulling in the same direction. I feel like that's a big thing that, that's come from the top. Then the gaffer's come in, you know, a big, big mentality change. Um, everybody wants to play, everyone wants to do the right things um, and I think you can see that on the pitch, like I say, barring the odd couple of performances but even then, like I say, the attitude that the players have got and the attitude that the squad's got is still getting us chances in the game and we're staying in games to maybe have a chance to, to win in them. Time for patience and a bit of calm maybe? Yeah, 100%. 100%. I don't know, it's, it's, hard. it's hard for fans to, to see things like that sometimes but you know it's gonna it's a long season the championship and we don't know you don't know when it'll click but I'm pretty sure it'll click going forward at some point as long as we keep building on the solid base we've got. On to Tuesday a team you know better than most or any in our dressing room but it's another challenge back here at St Andrews. It is yeah they're a good side they've, they've started well this season um, again like you say I know I'm better than most um, but you know, it'll be a good game to play in. Um, they're a team, again, a young team on the up, new manager. So it'll be a tough game again, but we know if we, we put our level of performances out there, we can beat anyone. Rob, I know you love media duty, so thanks for talking to me. <laughs> no worries, mate.